fossil fuels or green energy, how much does it cost? Support Electric Vehicle News Bite Size on Patreon and receive exclusive merchandise including t-shirts, stickers and coffee mug. Become a patron. Governments around the world spend more than $420 billion, 313 billion pounds, a year subsidizing non-renewable energy sources, despite pledges to limit support, according to the United Nations Development Program. How do fossil fuel subsidies work and which countries spend the most? Fossil fuel subsidies are measures taken by governments to artificially lower the price of coal, oil or natural gas. Production subsidies, tax breaks or direct payments to reduce the cost of producing fossil fuels. Consumer subsidies, lowering energy prices for consumers, such as setting fixed prices at gas stations. The transparency of fossil fuel funding is generally poor, but it is estimated that around three quarters of the world's subsidies are concentrated on consumers and a quarter on producers. Consumer subsidies are often found in low-income countries, mainly to help alleviate poverty through measures to reduce cooking gas prices and reduce transportation costs. According to the International Energy Agency, Iran topped the list of consumer subsidies in 2019, followed by China and India, which both subsidized petrol and diesel prices. An agreement unveiled at the end of the COP26 climate summit called on all countries to speed up the phase-out of inefficient subsidies for fossil fuels, but no specific date has been set. All countries in the G7, representing the world's largest advanced economies, have previously pledged to phase out inefficient fossil fuel subsidies by 2025. The International Energy Agency defines an inefficient subsidy as something that encourages wasteful consumption. If you look globally, you'll see progress in phasing out subsidies, but slowly. G7 members have made some progress on subsidy reform, but very limited, they do need to do better, and it's clearly not in line with climate commitments. Support for fossil fuels has been declining in 81 major economies in recent years, but still exceeds $350 billion in 2020. The Energy Policy Tracker has collected data since January 2020 on how major countries have enacted new policies to help fund the energy sector. The study found that since the beginning of 2020, the world's major economies have invested more in fossil fuels than clean energy through new or revised policies. The definitions of subsidies are broader than estimates by the International Energy Agency and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, so the overall numbers are higher, but they give us an idea of how countries finance clean energy compared to fossil fuels. The data shows that the United States and United Kingdom have invested in clean energy, but they are still spending significantly more on fossil fuels. U.S. President Joe Biden and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson have both said tackling fossil fuel subsidies is a top priority. In January last year, Biden signed an order to end fossil fuel subsidies, promising to remove government support by 2022. The Institute for Environment and Energy estimates that direct subsidies to the fossil fuel industry in the U.S. amount to $20 billion a year, with 80% going to oil and gas. On top of that, the United States provides several tax breaks for the fossil fuel industry to encourage domestic energy production. Mr. Johnson announced in December 2020 that the United Kingdom would stop supporting the overseas fossil fuel industry. An investigation last year found that Britain was spending billions of pounds on fossil fuel projects abroad. China and India have been increasing investment in renewable energy, but they remain among the world's largest public financiers of fossil fuels, spending tens of billions of dollars a year by subsidizing their production and consumption. Saudi Arabia and Russia have long adopted policies to subsidize fossil fuel consumption through low energy prices due to their abundance of oil and gas. Of the G20 nations, Saudi Arabia has done the least to phase out fossil fuel funding. It has joined other G20 nations in pledging to phase out inefficient fossil fuel subsidies, but has yet to set a target date. Please listen to our podcast, Electric Vehicle News Bite Size on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Breaker, Castbox. Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Audible, Ghana, YouTube or click www.anchor.fm slash Daniel Fearns. For more articles, search http colon slash slash www.haragatelectricvehiclenews.com. If you enjoyed this article Spang adds two new options to its flagship sedan the P7. Photo by Pixabay on Pexels.com.